Hello everyone, Jerry here from HDAModelWorks.com and today it's about the Millennium Falcon's gunwale turrets. So if you have this kit, this is the fine molds version, or this one, which is the Revell version, same fine molds kit, you still have these gunwale turrets. You have two of them, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now, this is minus the seat that goes in there and the um, equipment that was in front of it. You know, the control mechanism for the gun and everything. Now, the kit doesn't come with any details for this on the inside. I had a customer recently inquire of me if I could make some decals for this. And what I've done is I've come up with um, some decals uh, that will fit around the panels with this one right here which is um, the white spaces for where you cut this out to go around um, this gunwale part uh, the uh, seat mount at the bottom on the turret and of course some rings the detail rings to go at the back of the gunwale as you can see back there in the back there's a molded in ring section now this is a one piece um, I guess it's a slight injection uh, on the sprue uh, given the design of it so it's a little tricky to paint and I've painted this with some uh, white gloss on the inside so that I can put the decals on so let me put install those and we'll take a look at what they're going to look like when you go to cut these decals out you want to make sure you cut them as close to the panels as possible and for this particular uh, decal this one uh, goes above that uh, seat gun mount section so you'll need to make sure you trim the decal film out from the middle section here so where it's white uh, on the backing you'll want to be able to, to trim that out before you soak the decal the round decal the one that goes at the back you want to be careful because you want to trim around the edges you'll want to trim it so that it looks like sort of like this on the outside and then you'll want to take uh, and carefully trim the inside um, around the perimeter and make sure you trim this open section right here because this has to slide down on that same seat mount location as well. So when you're done trimming it, it should look something similar to this. You may want to clean it up a little bit better on the edges than what I did, but that should work. So let's go ahead and give that a good soak and we'll get that applied. Well there's the back decal in place. Now that was put in as one piece and laid back there. Now that's still wet and the decals not all the way down. When you go to put these on you'll need to use Microsol, I mean Microset from Microsoft uh, Set Industry or, or another decal um, setting solution. Um, this one is as I said Microscale Industries Microset. When you're putting them down use that um, and that will help them go down and then um, to melt the decal, the one on the back will need this, uh, you can use Microsol, which is also from Microscale Industries. It's the one with the, uh, the red uh, label. Or you can use Waller's Solver Set or another stronger acting uh, decal setting solution. I'm going to put the Microsol on there after this sets and dries for a few minutes and then that will the Microsoft will help uh, suck that down on there and give me a permanent installation. Now, when that's done, I'm going to hit this with a clear coat, uh, a matte clear coat, um, to seal that up. And then I'll probably come back and do a little weathering on the inside of this gunwale turret um, on the back wall in between the panels and stuff with uh, probably a, a slight oil. Uh, wash or an enamel wash or something, but um, it definitely will need um, a little dirtying up there to make it uh, look more like the Millennium Falcon. The decals will come with one extra set of panels and one extra ring, so if you have an accident or something and you need a replacement, uh, you'll have one on the decal sheet. Well, there's another nice little detail set from HDA Model Works. Check it out. It's on our webpage. Thank you everyone for watching and Happy modeling.